welcome to first lecture of circuit and network today i am going to explain circuit elements now there are different circuit elements that are resistors capacitors inductors voltage sources then current sources and switches are the different elect uh, electronics circuit element now uh, there is three basic element that are resistor capacitor and inductor this is the symbol of resistor a resistor can be either fixed or variable in value fixed resistor sometime in a variety of different shapes size and forms axial lead resistor have the value of resistance printed on them or as a color code a surface mount resistor have a numerical code indicating a value or resistor have a tolerance value Uh, capacitor this is the symbol of a capacitor a capacitor a basic capacitor has two parallel plates separated by an insulating material a cap capacitor stores an electrical charge between the two plates the unit of capacitor is faraday capacitance value have are normally small such as microfarad nanofarad and picofarad now inductor this is the symbol of inductor the direction of current reverses when current flowing through the inductor is stopped a collapsing current will cause the field line around around the inductor to collapse the collapsing field lines induce a voltage across the inductor to try and keep current flowing that is known as lenz law this introduced voltage can be very large creating spark or it's dangerous now current current is nothing but the normally we talk about the movement of positive charge through the through we know that in general in metallic conductor current results from electron motion converts uh, normally it is positive flow now the sign of current indicates the direction of flow types of current there are two types of current direct current that is related that is generated from battery and some special special generator and second is alternative current that is used in house hold applications and that is very with time now voltage voltage is nothing but uh, it is a difference in energy level of a unit charge located at each of two point in a circuit and therefore uh, re represents the energy required to move the unit charge from the point to other point it is nothing but the potential difference between two point if it is high to low then it is denoted as positive value and if it is low to high then it is denoted as negative value now ohms law ohms law uh, de uh, de define the relation between v and i uh, where the i flowing from the resistor r and v is the potential difference between uh, two terminal of uh, r so it is defined as v is equal to i r means voltage is nothing but the multiplication of current into the resistance now when r is open at that time the current flowing through that uh, resistor is zero and the voltage across open circuit is infinite but uh, means whatever it had applied in the circuit same voltage will be appear at the output point now Uh, what about the short circuit means r is equal to 0 in that case i is uh, total i that is uh, flowing from the r but v t voltage across the capacitor is 0 uh, because v is equal to i r where r is equal to 0 so v is equal to 0 so we are getting zero voltage across the short circuit now see this combination of resistor you can add you can uh, find equivalent of uh, series resistance by adding resistor 1 plus r2 now parallel you can find out equivalence of parallel resistance by calculation of 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 now <coughs> circuit definitions now nodes that are nothing but any point where two or more circuit elements are connected together wires usually having 
negligible resistance each node has one voltage with respect to ground now branch a circuit element between two nodes loops a collection of branches that forms a closed path returning to the same node without going through any other nodes or branch twice and in the circuit there are uh, we have to find out number of nodes branch and loop in that there are total three nodes first second and third nodes these are the different nodes then branches first second third fourth and fifth these are different branches of a circuit then loop this is first loop second loop and third loop now pitch of flow pitch of flow there are two different pitch of flows are there one is pitch of current flow that is known as kcl and second is pitch of voltage flow that is known as kvl now the kcl is it defines the algebraic summation of current coming towards the node or going towards the uh, out of the node is equal to zero uh, in another way we can define kcl as incoming all summation of all the incoming current to the node is equal to summation of all the outgoing current uh, from the node that is known as kcl and kvl is nothing but if you add all the voltages drops in the loop that is equal to applied voltage of the circuit now this is the explanation of kcl where all the summation of incoming current is equal to zero because there is no any outgoing current if there is any outgoing current then all the summation of incoming current is equal to summation of outgoing current now pitch of voltage the algebraic summation of voltage around each loop is equal to zero beginning from one node add other voltage source each branch in the loop if you encounter a plus sign first then uh, subtract voltage if you encounter a minus sign first then this is the equation voltage drop minus voltage series is equal to zero and it uh, can be represented as voltage drop in the circuit is equal to applied voltage in the circuit now we have to apply kcl in first loop in the in this i1 into r1 that is voltage drop across r1 and i2 into r2 that is nothing but voltage drop across r2 now according to kvl this vs applied voltage is equal to drop in the uh, loop uh, and that is r vs is equal to i1 r1 plus i2 r2 where vs is applied voltage and i1 r1 plus i2 r2 r produced voltage induced voltage or consumed voltage thank you